Hello and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mows. And in today's episode, we're going to be looking at lawnmower number six of eight, which is the um, little Tesco value jobby. Um, I did already purchase a piece for it because um, in the original look at the mowers, it had a prior bulb issue. I'm hoping this is the right one for it. Um, because without it, it's not, it's not even going to start. But um, I did notice it was leaking, so I pre-ordered that anyway. I didn't have a spare here. Um, so without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's check out this little test. Right, this is going to be lawn mower number six. And the first thing I noticed on it, it wants a bit of a grass box repair. Just here, a couple of holes. I'm just going to cut a piece off an old grass box somewhere I've got and just stitch a bit of material into that. So, or just heat it and melt it into there, one or the other. But uh, it looks like it's got a bit warm. It's touched something hot. I'm not quite sure what possibly the exhaust could be. Anyway, that can go over there for now. Um, so, this lawn mower. Currently started with petrol down the head. There's no fuel in it at all. But I did put some in and that's because the primer bulb is split. So we'll get it up on the bench straight away and we'll um, get this primer bulb sorted. That hopefully will cure the leak. We'll test it after that and see what happens. It could just be the primer bulb. Right, on the bench. Let's have a look. I've got an air filter, that's a plus. I'll remove these and then I'll try and get hold of try and get into here. Um, Shouldn't be no big task, it should just be a uh, couple of tens. A magnet tray. Now these are a bit fiddly. Yeah, breathe the pipe off. Now sometimes they just, they just run off, sometimes they don't. What people do is they put a, a, a they snap this end here just so you can uh, get it to come off. Because there's, there's a knack to it, is what I'm trying to say. So what some people do is they put a little tiny nick in the side of this airbox, just so you can get that bit to pass over. Like that, like that. Okay, now moment of truth. I can possibly untwist all of that and risk it snapping inside a carburetor, or just get a screwdriver and try to remove the two clips, if it'll let me. If it'll let me. Just trying to push these clips in so I can get this to a release. There's one. Oh, that should make it a bit easier. Right, go straight from the end would be nice. Oh, I think that's got it. There it goes. So this had a split in it somewhere. I know it did because it was leaking out the back. There it is there. Just there. There's a bit of a split there. And it's perished just there. See? So that's that. So I now have this one here. And what I'm gonna to hope to do is exactly the same. Push the two clips out. Like so. Get hold of that, take that out. Now that'd be a good spare. Now, that should go into there. But what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna push the primer bulb all the way in and over top, so it sits where it needs to. And then get this clip to go in on top, to seat it to there, and it needs to be lined up with a corresponding holes. It's gonna be about there, grab a socket, and I think off the top of my head it's a 17 mil. No, it's gonna be an 18, just to prove me wrong. And then just push that 18 mil in, all the way, 
into its seats where it needs to. It's got to a seat, which it hasn't yet. It's just a bit fiddly, but you get the gist of it. So you can take these off for carburetors. I might just try it once, but I don't want to snap it, which is a fear. So this is ever so gently. No, 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 not going to risk it. If it's not going to go, it's not going to go. So these will be lined up. Corresponding holes. Line that up. And just make sure it, oh, that's got that one. That's got that one. It's just this one here. It's not quite got it yet. I might just try a slightly bigger socket. There it goes. Right, I've got it. Good. So now, with fuel in there, that should prime. Let's get a bit of fuel in. Let's put a bit of fuel in her now. I'm nearly out of fuel too, so I'll pick some up. Now this would be great if this just started to run straight off the bat. It'd be fantastic. Not a lot of fuel there, but there's enough air for him just to start it. Let's just try and prime. Not seeing any fuel coming down through at all. So that's not a good sign. Carburetor off. Uh, this is just purely just to inspect it to see what's actually going on with a carburetor. Just want to crack the bowl off. Yeah I'm getting fuel coming down the pipe. Oh hang on I didn't actually have that fuel cap on so it wouldn't prime but wouldn't be pressurized. nothing coming through at the minute so yeah we'll go for a carburetor clean or carburetor inspection anyway just to see what actually is occurring these are really nice sort of simple carburetors these and let's just crack that one off Just purely want to see what's actually inside this carburetor. Let's bring it down a smidge so you get a decent view of it as well. Let's bring it right in here. That's better. Let's have a quick little gander in here. Oh, the yeah, yeah. bit of brown stuff coming out of there. lots of crud in there so yeah we'll go for a bit of a clean it won't want to won't want a big clean because uh, the actual the actual um, jets on these don't come out you've got one jet just here which is plugged I can see it's plugged cool I don't want to come out of here either. Let me get a slightly bigger screwdriver. It's always a fear of winding this straight through your hand. Oh, that's not going to come. But to be fair, it is only just a hole, so I may be able. 
There you go, it's got it. I didn't think that was going to come out for a minute. Okay. So that tube is not actually running anything through it at all, which is concerning. So I've never ever to date had one of these ones out. Yeah, that's solid. There it goes. Oh, I'm through. Yeah, that's some crud in there. I couldn't see daylight through it, to be fair. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, lovely. Is it running through there now? That's what you want. It was that one just there. Uh, let me let them suds get rid of them and watch it. Watch it fill up now. Yeah, lovely. One in the back here. That should run out, out here for the uh, primer. One, two, three, four, five. Five and a half is about as far as I want to go. So five and a half back out on that. Take that out. And by putting fuel of stuff through here, you'll now see it shoot out the side of this little carburetor. There it goes. And they get plugged. That's one of the main ones to have out. Also, Gonna wind this in, so it's five and a half there. In fact, I'm gonna put that back in so I can forget about it. That's done then. Before I take the other one out, uh, where was it? In there. So five and a half back out on that one. Wind that in. So. One, two, three, four, five and a half. That's where it was. I've got one here to do, so why miss one in? Oh, it was there. One, two, three, three and three quarters. And I've got one here to come out. Three and three quarters on that one. Uh, that looks relatively clear. Uh, that's plugged though. You can see it is. And there should be a hole down in there. Now, I don't know if I've got a, a file small enough for that. It'll have to be my smallest file I've got. It should be that one. Yeah, that's just about fits. Lovely. And then run some fluid through that one. That doesn't go all the way through, I know it doesn't. Super job. That can now go back in. I'll run some stuff in there first. Go all the way back in. <clears throat> I'm this one back out. One. Oh, hang on, made a mistake there. There it was. One, two, three, four, five. Three quarters back there. I always retune it if need be. Right, that's that carburetor now cleaned, and uh, we have put that back on to the mower um, and see if we can't get it to fire up. Hopefully, it will do. So, 
I'll uh, put the carburetor back on, um, put the mower outside, and then uh, we'll go for a fire up, see what actually happens. Okay, carburetor's back on, but I just wanted to show you if you can get, see right inside there, let me try and get you in. Just down in here, bottom corner, there's a little tiny hole, a jet, and you should better see the fluid now coming out. There you go. So that's now priming. I'll put the air filter back on, all that sort of good stuff, and then uh, we'll go for a fire up. Okay, so prime bowl's now working. I've checked the oil, um, blades looks fine as well. Let's give it a couple of primes and see if it doesn't start. Hold it. I'll do it, buddy. My totos. My totos. But uh, away she went, no more leaks. Hard to tell because my hands are so petrolly anyway at the moment. No leaks, let's give it another, another pull. Fantastic. Okay, lawnmower number six, all up and running. And in, and in fact, it's not a bad little, little mower really, for what it is, you know, a little cheapo. Um, I've given the grass box to Nana. Um, she's gonna, I've, given, I've got an old grass box um, here somewhere. I'm just gonna get, cut some bits of material off and she's just gonna just stitch it through. Um, that'd be good enough just to patch some holes up. So that'd be okay. All's fine. Um, spark plug was actually really good. Um, Blade is actually okay as well. It's not done a lot of work, I don't think. Um, I've got a sneaky feeling the primer bowl had, had a hole in it and uh, it failed to start, so that's why um, it, it was parked up. But uh, I'll give it a 10, 15 minute test. Once it's cooled back down again, just want to restart it from cold. It took two or three pumps to get that out. Um, however, I did prime it two or three times to show you guys, so it may have been a bit flooded. So um, that'll have a 10 minute test and I'm super, super happy. Six out of the eight done. I have a mount field left to go and a decumpse to go. The mount field will be next. I have pre-ordered a drive cable for it because the drive cable was actually um, sea solid. So that came yesterday. Um, but as of yet, got up, even started. From what I remember, I think it's a Briggs on that one. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it's a Briggs. Um, so I'll bring a mount field in next and as promised, the decumpse will be last. So um, super, super happy. So thank you very much for joining me this episode of Mixed Mowers. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you liked it. Uh, leave a comment down below, positive or negative, I don't really mind. Tap the old subscribe button and give your bell a nice good whack. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Mixed Mowers. But until then, don't forget, 